everyone, and welcome to this episode of Talking About Rock. I'm Rob Edwards. Here we bring you rock interviews from veteran and upcoming artists. Subscribe on our YouTube channel to stay up to date, and follow us on our social media and our website, TalkingAboutRock.com. Today we have for you a Rochester, New York band that takes their music and fundraising very seriously. To date, they've raised over $181,000 for charity. And they've been recognized for awards from the Jefferson Award for Public Service to the Holy Child White Rose Award in 23 and the One Soldier at a Time Appreciation Award for their incredible work they've done with our veterans and families every day. From Rochester's New York's premier fundraising party band, we have with us the dogs. Let's welcome Steve Ball and Chrissy Sunshine Ferraccio. What up? <laughs> How's it going, guys? What's up? What's up? <laughs> All right, all right. So, Steve, man, let's start with you. You've been playing uh, bass on and off for 40 years. And what I was reading, this fundraising idea was originally a supply chain fundraiser called Distribution Dogs. Is that correct? Yeah. So um, the originators in the band, uh, the four of us, all worked for um, for Wegmans in the supply chain distribution division. And um, Wegmans is a uh, really big supporter of United Way. So we decided we would do a fundraiser that um, for United Way using, you know, our music and we would get people to come up and sing songs. And, and it was sort of a live karaoke and, and Chrissy actually participated with that in that. And that's how we met. Um, oh, I see. So and, Chrissy, and so yeah, you started in the, what the East coast, the band East coast connection, right. In 2005. And then you kind of jumped on stage and started doing some karaoke with these guys. Yeah, so I, I started with the with uh, my brother-in-law's band back, yeah, in 2005. And uh, I was, you know, just a karaoke singer before that, just a wannabe. And um, he really kind of took me under his wing and, and showed me the ropes and, and what show business is really all about. And the band scene in Rochester. And, and we traveled, so that was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I, I then took a break, got married, had some kids. And I really wasn't doing much with singing. And then... Um, I kind of fell into this thing with Steve. Uh, it, it was just, it just kind of happened that way. It worked out, but um, yeah, it's, it's been great. Cool. So she was just the, the right person at the right time then, huh, Steve. Yeah, absolutely. Twice actually. <laughs> All right. So t Steve, tell us a little bit about some of your fundraising goals and stuff you've achieved out there. You guys have been doing this quite a while now. Yeah. So we, we started that sort of, uh, in work fundraising for United Way in 2014. And then for the first three years, we did just a once a year um, event. And then in 2017, 2018, me and Lou Germano, our amazing guitar players from Whiteman's as well in the original band, um, decided we would take this thing on the road. And so, you know, to date, since 2017, 18, um, we've done, we've partnered with over 40 um, different organizations, charitable organizations uh, in the greater Rochester area. And we've raised, as you said, uh, I think the number is actually, uh, who's counting, but the number is actually 183,000 right now. Nice, so nice. Um, <laughs> you have to update your website. Then. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we just had a show Friday, Saturday night, so the latest one hasn't dropped in yet. But gotcha. anyway, um, yeah, and um, so we've done about 70 uh, or so events uh, at this point. Uh, as you said, we you know we've won a couple of awards that we're super proud of, um, the uh, ESL Jefferson Award um, with an organization called Multiplying Good, um, which is a national level organization throughout the country. Um, there's a chapter in Rochester sponsored by Channel 10 and ESL, and uh, in 2022 we were uh, honored to be uh, named as part of that. So uh, yeah, we we do probably. I don't know, 15 to 18 shows a year with uh, with a, just a different a number of partners. Some of them are, you know, repeat performances. We did our fifth annual um, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention event uh, Saturday night. And we have others um, like Hillside Children's Center that we're going to be doing in January for the first time. So it's a combination of um, many different charities that we uh, that we're lucky enough to work with. And you guys are performing all this for free. It's just money going directly to the charities. Yeah, the, we, the way we do it is, um, you know, aside from any expenses that are occurred in the event, you know, production costs or printing or whatever, true expense, everything else uh, goes to the charity, 100%. So 
Um, if, if you pay at the door, if you buy a raffle ticket, if you get in on baskets, if, whatever it might be, um, the, whatever, you know, all of that, 100% goes. We take no compensation, We've never taken a penny. So, um, but you know, the thing is, and I think Chrissy will probably say the same, um, it, it, maybe we don't get paid in currency, but honestly, the payback is is amazing. I don't know. I think it's, it's just- Yeah, Chrissy, what's been your experience at the show seeing this happen? Oh my gosh, it's in the beginning, I will say I was very emotional at most of the shows. Um, a lot of the causes that we, you know, are, are fortunate enough to to be helping to support, um, you know, they're they're so unfortunately, they're we know people that are affected by these things like Alzheimer's or breast cancer or suicide prevention. Right. Um you know, and so you see these these stories of these people, they'll come up and they'll they'll talk about their maybe a specific story or a specific situation that happened. And oh my gosh, it just gets you. It's like, wow, you know, I got goosebumps just thinking about it. But um, you know, all of these things affect us or we know somebody that it, that, you know, is affected by it. And uh so it's it is definitely payment in that way where we feel that you know, we are fortunate enough to be able to help these people kind of forget about what's going on in their lives for just a moment and maybe help them really have a good time. And it's all, you know, it's, it's all to raise funds for whatever that cause is. Um, so hundred percent agree with, I agree with Steve on that. Our, our payment is definitely not in currency, but it's far better. Definitely, definitely. So, Steve, you probably have a lots of different charities reaching out to you guys, setting up stuff all the time. I was looking on here. You guys have a couple different uh, formats that you put together for fundraising, right? Yeah, that's that's you're doing your homework there, Robert. That's that's for sure. So, so we started, you know, when we started back in seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, um, we did pretty much one. Our our platform, if you will, was we would find the venue, we would do all the promotion. Um, we would locate the charity and connect, you know, the venue charity and us together. We would, um, do, you know, man the door, sell the 50, 50 tickets. All oh, of that. You guys all are time. running the whole gambit here. Yeah, well, we, you're not just performing. Time. You're not just yeah, performing. Just you're running months. the whole deal. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I think over time though, we found that, that, um, it, the more we engage the, the charity that we're partnering with, you know, the, the stronger the event becomes. So, so we relinquished some of that work, um, not just because it's, you know, we have, it has to be staffed, but because having them be part of the event makes them truly a partner. And then, and then so that, from that perspective, so that's one kind of the bar venue um, format has the one that we have, you know, kind of always hung our hat on, so to speak. And um, the other format, which we've sort of walked into over the last couple of years and is growing in terms of how much of our time is spent is what I would call special events. And so that comes in the form of galas or other fundraisers. So we did, you know, we've done a couple of times now, a, a true partner of ours, Holy Childhood Wine at Center Ice. And um, that event is a large scale event that's in uh, one of the large uh, hockey rinks. Um, they have tastings, wine, beer, spirits, food, uh, we play, they, they sell, you know, they do raffles. It's just an amazing event. We did another one, which was, for me, one of my absolute favorites ever. Um, uh, uh, the organization Arkham Monroe does an event called Dancing with the Ark. And it was at uh, Innovative Field in Rochester. So um, the same format as Dancing with Stars. And they would partner one of their um, students from their school with a local celebrity. And it was just, it was, you know, just, so touching to be part of that event so you know now we we did a, a gala a couple of weeks ago um at the uh, Roger, um george eastman house and, and just those kinds of events are becoming more and more of, of our show and the value we think we bring there is that you know if you're going to hire a, a band for your your event your special event there's a substantial cost for that kind of band and that kind of event and so we may not be contributing the dollars, but we're doing is offsetting the cost for them. So in the end, it's it's pretty much the same. Um, and it's a win-win for everybody, as we like to think they always are. So. Yeah, it can definitely be very costly. How long are your shows? And you're doing like three sets, I'm assuming, we, something we, like that? 
like a typical show for us is is a couple of sets that just sort of maybe are just a little over an hour each with a short break in between, um, depending on what the event is and if the charitable organization has raffles they want to call off or they have a speaker that they want to add or, right. you know, there's a number of things that could happen, but probably a little over two hours with the music in this sort of standard show. Um, periodically, we've been asked to do three sets, and um, but oftentimes the kind of event we do, um, you know, a two and a half hour or three hour window is is just perfect for that event. So. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. I see you also did some events with the Ronald McDonald House for the Rochester Gala also. I would let, uh, other than to just say that that was one of uh, Sunshine's very first events and probably our largest scale event, at least at the moment. So I'll let yeah. her tell the story about that one, though. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Uh, yeah, um, I kind of had, had just joined the group um, at that point, um, you know, just, I was, gosh, what was that? Our second or third show together, I think. Yep. And, um, I mean, I was not prepared, uh, <laughs> to walk in in this beautiful, I mean, we're at the Riverside Convention Center and there was just so many people and, uh, Ronald McDonald House was, I mean, it's a huge event. Huge right. It's a very well event. known, very well known charity, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like hundreds, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars are raised that night. And it was just, it was wild. It was so great. I had such a good time. Um, right. yeah, again, I was really affected by that one. My, my niece was born um, and had a, a condition. She needed surgery at a couple days old. And my brother's family stayed at a Ronald McDonald house and I'm getting emotional. It's like <laughs> all this stuff, it really hits home for all these people. And, you know, there's so many people that are affected by these different causes, but that one really was so cool to be able to be part of that and just help them celebrate and enjoy the night and raise just so much money for Ronald McDonald house. It was so great. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. To have things like this in these times, right, with the with the price of things going through the roof all the time, you know, people have less and less money. So, I mean, I mean, it's Steve, it's got to be hard getting these events going. Like I said, you probably have a lot of folks, you know, messaging you, trying to set up shows with you. What's what's the process look like when when someone needs to reach out to you guys, put something together? Well, it, you know, it, it all began by us reaching out to them, actually. It started with, you know, with us selling it as if we were a band for hire. You know, the same, here's our, you know, our video, here's our, you know, package and all that. And, and interestingly, as you might think, it, it, if we're free, we wouldn't think you'd have to, like, work that hard to get the shows. But we probably, out of the first 10 that I solicited, <laughs> only three were uh, we're uh, interested and in. those three we've carried on as partners since day one. But um, yeah, we, we've gotten to the point now where we get uh, through their website or through Facebook or at our shows, actually, we, we often get uh, requests to play and mm -hmm. the process is really just, um, it's fairly simple. Um, number one, they have to be a 501c3 not for profit. We don't do any sort of GoFundMe style shows for individuals. And we understand that there's a ton of, opportunity and need in that and and um but for us the 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 not-for-profits process works best and then um is it a local organization that's the next thing that's really important to us uh, we like to make sure that the money stays in rochester and touches people that you know that we might actually know or have family or friends that know um and then if you know then if there if it needs to go further than that is it an organization that cares for children or elderly those are the kind of things um, and then the last piece and probably one of the most important parts are just, you know, how much of a partner will they, will they be? Um, you know, that, that uh, we've had the good fortune of partnering up with uh, John Dretto from Maestro Management, who's helped us a lot um, in terms yeah. of some of the kinds, like the, the Ronald McDonald House is a great example. Of that yeah, event. John's a good guy. Yeah, he is. And one of the things he said is, you know, we're looking for yeah. participants not recipients. And so when we can have a, a partner that we just know mm -hmm. is going to be part of the show and, and bring their folks and bring their energy and bring their heart, then that, that you know, that, that goes a long way in terms of um, helping us, you know, decide to partner together. 
Yeah, because like you were saying, you, yeah. you guys were doing the whole thing at first. You know, you're organizing the event, staffing the event, you know, doing the advertising, printing the stuff. That's that's a lot of work. I mean, if they if they have a team in their organization or, fo or folks that they can volunteer to do that, that's kind of really what they should be looking at, right? You know, it, yes. It, it's it's still to, to a large extent grassroots, though. Um, we do ha definitely have the folks from the organizations through the, the door and um, at least partner on the 50-50. But, you know, like we, we have a person who helps us run our contests, and that's Gina Ford. We have oftentimes... Chrissy's uh, husband and her two girls will staff the merch table. Like, so it's still, uh, we've got our hands in, you know, we're still making the posters, that kind of stuff. We've got our hands in it now, um, uh, you know, pretty far still. And so that's, it's important. You know, we have, um, our show is, we like to think it's pretty engaging, right? And like, we'll have a couple of um, screens on either side of the stage where we'll pump out lyrics and video and, um, Joe Weidel is, is our video guy by trade. Um, you know, we have a, a gentleman who runs lights for us, Nick Cozio. Uh, I mentioned, um, you know, John from Maestro Management. Uh, Rick Lee from Stickler Audio is, is you know, we try to partner with him whenever we can. And I guess the reason why I bring that up, Robert, is just that, um, you know, when people talk about how we're giving our time, it may be five of us up there having fun and matching outfits, but there's three, four, five, six, eight people behind that are helping us, you know, run <laughs> right. those shows. Too, right. So. People, people don't see the folks behind the scenes, you know, running the equipment yeah. or, or doing this or that or whatever, getting things organized. Yeah. The, the support system for, for the, for the band. Yeah. Right. You know, speaking of which, um, you know, we're, I've always yeah, for been sure. fortunate enough to do these when they come up and, uh, you know, obviously Chrissy, our singers here too, but um, the other three, beauties who couldn't be here um we probably should make sure we call them out too and so Definitely. that's um, <laughs> lou germano on on you know just amazing on guitar um and uh, matt rush on keyboards and vocals matt is just so talented he does all kinds of different music uh and uh, double d Dwayne draper um on on drums just kicking it back there so those those three are the other you know three-fifths of uh of the dogs so Nice, nice. So, and do you guys kind of craft the show for the event? Do they kind of maybe ask, you know, what kind of music or what kind of look or style they're looking for, or do they just leave that up to you? Yeah, no, I think we pretty much, you know, kind of made our mark in town that we're going to be a party band and, you know, we're going to come matched in some sort of, whether it's a suit or a baseball jersey that's, you know, custom for the dogs or a hockey jersey in the, over the winter. Um, they know what they're getting. And, and when I think in terms of crafting the show, we've actually done a lot of that um, from the perspective of um, the kind of music we play. So if you come and see our show, um, we're not going to be a metal band. We're not going to play originals or B-sides. Um, we want, we hope that every song that you hear is one, oh my gosh, that was on the radio. That was on the radio. We know that. We know that. We know. So highly recognizable Super engaging, yeah. you know, dance music, right, Chrissy? I don't know. Like, um, so anyway, yeah. You getting those people out there dancing yeah. and singing along, Chrissy? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be stuff that, oh, for sure. It's going to be stuff that everybody, you know, we, we hope uh, most people are going to know the words to. Um, they're going to remember when the song came out or, you know, they're going to remember. I, I mean, like one song uh, comes to mind, Summer of 69, and when we first started doing that song, I told the guys, I was like, oh, my gosh, I remember, you know, back in the early 90s, um, I was I was the friend that had a car and I used to drive my girlfriends everywhere. And every single time I left the house, that song was on. And that was like our song, you know, and right. I was like, oh, my gosh. And everybody has a story like that for these songs, because they are those those really popular songs that everybody knows. And, and that's what we want. We want them to, you know, forget about this going on over here for a second and just remember that and have fun and have a great time and sing along. hundred percent. Yeah. That's what I always say. That's the power of great music, right? It takes you back. It, you relive those memories or those times you were growing up or like you said, the friends you were hanging out with and that's, that's what makes yeah. great music and that's how it, how it attaches to your life and brings that back. Definitely. Definitely. So I was also looking through the site here. It looks like you guys got some shows coming up, Steve. October 30th, uh, Iron Smoke. You got Bavania Child Advocacy, 
Center benefit, yeah, I think that is. Am I pronouncing that correctly? It, it's Bavona, but they've actually just very recently um, rebranded as the uh, Child Advocacy Center of Rochester, or Greater Rochester, excuse me. So, uh, you know, we talk about the reoccur, you know, the repeat shows. Um, this is a brand new organization for us to partner with, and we met them through one of our other shows. And so, you know, it's the Wednesday before Halloween, which I think is Thursday, right? It's just, that that date is the thirtieth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the thirtieth. It said, yeah, we're, yeah. Uh, we're still trying to figure out how to dress up the band is for that uh, that Halloween uh, <laughs> event. So yeah, we're pretty excited about that. And Russ, you know, Iron Smoke is um, Tommy and Jen have just been an amazing partner to us. Right, um, just a very cool venue, right? People don't know Tommy Burnett's Iron Smoke making their own whiskey. You know, pr pretty big deal in Rochester, New York. There, <laughs> he he sells that at lots of places yeah. too. They, we we often do Sunday afternoon shows there, and it, so that the, the organizations we partner with can bring their families and and their you know their students or whoever associates might they might be, and it's just such a great environment. They they they're just they're super cool there. That, that, and you're right. The place has got. It's awesome. such a cool place, too. Yeah. Such yeah. a cool place. Yeah, yeah. Tom, Tommy is definitely a great guy. I, I met him for the first time. Um, was it last year or something? And just, just a great guy for sure. Yeah. So the, the next event you got coming up, it looks like November fifteenth. You guys got Toys for Tots benefit at the Italian American uh, Civic Club going on. Yeah, that's a that's a new one for us as well, and that's one that John Dratto has uh, has. Um, is producing the event for um we we have not done an event with the toys for tots uh the marine program but we're, we're looking forward to it now this one you know it's good that you bring it up because this is a, a dinner show and so tickets are required and so i guess just as a little bit of a side advertisement um since you since you mentioned the show um we're looking for people to buy tickets to that event it's amazingly value priced at 39 dollars for dinner um, and uh, dinner music, after dinner music, and the dogs playing a, a, a rocking couple sets. So, uh, yeah, we're excited about that. And I mean, if you think about it, an organization that's collecting toys for children this close to the holidays, I mean, w what better match could we have than that, right? So, Right. It's definitely perfect. The Italian American uh, Civic Club. Where, where is that located and how do people get tickets? Um, we, you can get them. The, there's a link. Um, there's a Facebook event on our page with a link to an Eventbrite ticket sales. Um, so go right to the dog's Facebook page and follow us if you haven't already while you're there and then buy yourself a couple tickets to the uh, to the Toys for Tots event. Excellent, excellent. So it looks like yeah, the other that event. That I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, on Elm Grove. Oh, that, that location is on, on the corner of Elm Grove and like Buffalo Road. So if you're a West Sider, you're familiar with seeing that big, beautiful building back there, the Italian American Club. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful building. Very cool. Very cool. So it looks like next on the list, you guys got December 1st, you got Honor Flight Benefit at Bunce's. I'm always going to see shows there. I uh, loved what Dave Bunce is doing there. Yeah. I think everybody's probably played that place twice by now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, one of our, our original shows. Dave was the OG in terms of uh, bringing the dogs onto a stage. So we we uh, we love our partnership with him. And uh, this one is super cool because um, you know Chrissy mentions you know the these organizations touching us, and this one in particular does for me because I was able to take my father to uh, on one of the honor flights, and it was just an amazing experience. So this show. Is a absolute blast because it's uh, it's an all day multi band event, and we get some of Rochester's great bands. Um, Hall Pass Eighties is going to be on the bill this year. Um, Beatles Rock, if you if, you know if you know Steve and those folks, um, we're obviously going to be playing. Begging Angels will be there, so it's a it's an all day event. And you know maybe Robert, you can fire down the throughway and uh, stop in for that one. Yeah, that definitely sounds like that could be definitely the plan. Yeah, like I said, lo love Bunce. He's been to quite a few shows out there. You know, Dave Dave jumps on stage every once in a while, and he's he's playing with the guys too. Oh yeah, which 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 is very very cool. Yeah, I love that. Uh, another question I had for you here is, um, do they give you goals for these events? You know, kind of what they're looking for, how to gauge it, or do you just just kind of go with it? Or well, we have um, a pretty. Uh, good track record in terms of how much 
a typical show can can bring in and mm-hmm. you know as, as if if it's sort of our base package i guess if you will you know if, at donation at the door 50 50 raffle we sell our merch and donate that uh, we might do a cash you guys sell your it. merch and you donate the money from your merch sales too yeah, yeah. oh my yeah. gosh i that i didn't know that i didn't know <laughs> We got to get you yeah. into some uh, dogs merch wow. for sure. What, yeah, you how, how are you guys doing all this, man? I hope I don't know how you're affording this, but <laughs> it's a lot of love, a lot of right. partnerships, and a lot of love. That's for sure. It sure yeah. is. So, uh, so we know kind of how much on a typical night that's going to yield, and we try to tell up front what the window, you know, sort of the range of how much an, an event could be. It, it, you know, it's always predicated on. Um, how many people show up, of course, because you right. know, for every, every right. door donation, every set of 50, 50 tickets, et cetera, the, the, the amount goes up. Right. And right. And it's, it's the day of the week and the venue, I think are oh. two of the huge things too. Right. Definitely. Definitely. You know, you know, and I think you may have mentioned this up front, but you know, it is, it, it's become more of a, um, more of a battle to get, um, you know, sort of fundraising dollars uh, than it used to be. And so, you know, you know, our, our show's, we, I feel, uh, and I'm speaking for myself, and hopefully the rest of the band feels the same way, that we continue to evolve and get better and be, you know, present a more high energy, entertaining package. And so we're just hoping that people continue to, you know, seek us out and come and see us, and you know, realize that along the way, it's for a great cause. But you're going to have a, an amazing time anyway, either way, in addition to it, you know. So. Very, very cool. For folks, if you're in the Rochester area, definitely check out the dogs at these events. You could check it out on their website or like on their Facebook page, like uh, Steve was saying there. Definitely. What you guys are doing, I think, is amazing. Um, do you have any plans to to do this in other areas or maybe coordinate with other areas to kind of put something together like what you're doing in another area? Ever- well, we, we, um, we ventured out a little bit, you know, a little bit to the east, the southeast, a little um, but otherwise, we have probably been pretty much, all, you know, the greater Rochester area. But that doesn't mean we're adverse to it. I mean, I, I would love for us to um, to build some some relationships, some partnerships in the Buffalo area. We've had some folks come to our events. Uh, we, we met a great couple at this gala we did a couple weeks ago that are from Buffalo and just really nice people. We would love to do a show in Buffalo if if there was an opportunity. So we'll put the band on the road. Come on, Robert. Put the band on the road. I love it. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to go on the road. <laughs> He's ready to do it. Very, very cool. Awesome. I mean, so, we should talk about that. Maybe there's something there. You know? Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely we'll yeah. definitely have to chat with that and see if there's something we can work out along the lines with that. Very, very cool. But man, great talking with you. I know we've been trying to get this going on for a while. You know, schedules have been a little bit hectic lately, and but I'm glad we've had a chance here for you to come back, talk with us again. Great to meet you, Chrissy, to have you on the show. Excellent. Hope you- Thanks so much. Yep. All right. So thank you, Stephen, Chrissy, for joining us today. We also want to thank our sponsors, School of Rock North Buffalo and Unleash Music. And to all our listeners, wherever you are, get out there and support live music and help us keep the torch alive. Guys, again, thanks for being with us. Dogs up. Thanks for having us. <laughs>